Good morning. Prayer for Sunday, January 9th, 2022, the baptism of the Lord. Prayer for the morning. Good morning, everybody. The Lord is great. Come, let us adore him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will forever be. Amen. Alleluia. Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me, and to finish his work. From John chapter 4, verse 34. Jesus listened with an open ear and an open heart to the voice of his Father. Listening, he obeyed. Let us, who have been baptized in him, listen to the voice that calls us beloved children and gives us a work to do, the work of the gospel, proclaimed and lived in love for God and neighbor. Let us pray. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. In the scroll of the book, it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law at the depth of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. O Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. Your merciful love and your truth will always guard me. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, the Lord is great, who love your saving help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Philippians. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. The Word of the Lord. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. From Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. From Isaiah chapter 42, verse 1. Let us pray. The response is, Father, hear us. Father, hear us. As children and servants of the living God, let us pray in faith and love. You sent your Son to save the world through his obedience even unto death. Instill in us his desire to do your will. Father, hear us. You sent your Son to lead us from death to life through the waters of salvation. Grant us the courage to follow where he leads. Father, hear us. You sent your Son to deliver all peoples from slavery to sin and death. Grant us the wisdom to accept the gift of freedom and seek freedom from others. And seek freedom for others. Father, hear us. And now let us reveal our personal intentions in the silence of our heart to our Lord. Father, hear us. God, our Father and Deliverer, you have redeemed your people through the waters of baptism into the death and resurrection of Christ. May we who have passed through the waters take up our cross and follow him from death to glory according to your will, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a good day, everybody.